it goes, Pilipinos. Magandang baga po. Tanong nga ng mga Briton, are you alright? Nice! My name is Paul. I live here in the UK for 15 years. What? I just want to share my experiences, struggles, and happiness as a migrant Filipino living here in the United Kingdom of Great Britain. But before we start, please kindly like, subscribe, and click that notification for you to be updated for my future posts. I can still remember 15 years ago the time that we received our UK dependent visa. I was so happy and excited. Hooray! However, the reality is that I'm terrified. Oh no! Of what awaits in the United Kingdom. It's a whole new adventure. Madami akong mga agam-agam, mga tanong, at nag-iisip na mag-survive kaya kami dito sa United Kingdom. So far, nandito pa naman ako, ba? Buhay na buhay. Well, for this day, we will talk about 15 years of journey as a migrant here in the UK. Ganun-ganun lang, naka-15 years na pala ako dito. <laughs> Filipinos, reflecting on my journey, 15 years as a Filipino migrant in the UK. Ang may wagang tanong, why we migrated here in the UK? My reasons? Kasi nandito na ang asawa ko. She was a registered nurse in the Philippines. Then, she got a job in Singapore as a senior care assistant in a nursing home. From there, she applied as a senior carer here in the UK. And everything that followed became part of the past. Hey! After two years, she petitioned us to be her dependents. And we were approved. Tayo namang mga Pilipino na nag abroad we often choose to migrate either because they are offered jobs overseas which is the most common reason or because they or their families have migrated to a country that offers citizenship. What? Pinaka-importante sa atin ay mabuo ang ating pamilya. Mayarap din kaya, lalo na kung ang asawa mo ay nagtatrabaho sa ibang bansa. It's a struggle for you, your kids, and your other half. Oh no! Swerte tayo na nandito sa UK at pwede natin kunin ang mga pamilya natin, hindi ba? Not like in other countries, hindi yan pwede. Nice! Now, why share my journey? Sa loob ng 15 years, simula nang dumating ako dito sa England, I encountered numerous challenges. Feeling overwhelmed and setting high expectations for myself. I grappled with confusion, periodic bouts of depression, and at times, it seemed like I was on the verge of losing my sanity. Oh man! All while longing deeply for the Philippines. Isang bagay lang ang pwede kong masabi. Bilang isang migrant, the only person that you can depend on is yourself. Wala kang matatanungan kung may mga bagay-bagay na hindi mo maintindihan. At sasabihin ko na sa inyo, kung ikaw ay nasa ibang bansa, madami ka talagang katanungan. Kung may problema ka naman, wala din makikinig sa'yo kasi most likely, Pilipinos here are all busy and all your trusted friends and families are in the Philippines kaya sorry ka na lang. Solve your own problem. <laughs> Hence, I'm sharing my journey for fellow Filipino who are migrating to the UK. Hindi para sa mga inuugat na dito ha. Para ito sa mga bagong migrant, it is important to recognize that life here is not always glamorous as it may seem. My early days in the UK, initial challenges, cultural differences, and adjustments. Ito po ang pinakamahirap na part sa isang migrant, yung kararating mo pa lang. Ako po ay nabulaga sa laki ng pagkakaiba ng Pilipinas sa United Kingdom. <laughs> nabulaga saan? Wow, ang puputi pala talaga nila. Palagatas ang kutis. Oh no, ang tatangkad ng mga Briton. Stunning blue eyes. Daming bland dito. Ito ang mga challenges na hinarap ko. Language barrier. Ouch! It's not because I cannot speak or understand English, but I'm having problem understanding their accent, jargons, and they speak fast. Alam ko naman, marami sa kausap kong Briton, hindi din ako maintindihan. The feeling is mutual. Hindi ko din sila maintindihan. <laughs> the main reason 
why they cannot understand me are my English accent is American and the words and jargon that I use is also very American. Who oh, me? My adjustment to these challenges is just I expose myself to them. Nakipag-usap ako sa kanila. Wala akong pakialam yung naiintindihan nila ako o naiintindihan ko din sila. Hanggang sa nakuha ko na yung confident ko to speak to them, not worrying about my accent and my words. As time goes by, I learn to speak like them. Culture shock ako dito. Oh no! Boo! I initially believed that adapting to British culture would be straightforward. I'm still in the process of adjusting even if already 15 years living here in the UK. Natuto akong maging on time sa mga appointment ko. Bawal ang Pilipino time dito. Yung lagi kang late. I learned to save money for rainy days which I don't do in the Philippines. Sa Pilipinas, madami ka kasing mauutangan. Dito sa UK, lahat ng uutangan mo ay may tubo. May mga nagpapa 5-6 pa nga eh. Ano yung 5-6? What? 20% interest on personal loans. Pakibat nito, natuto din ako mag-budget ng pera ko. I learned to humble myself. Isa din akong balat si Buyas. Panapagsabihan, naghihinalakit. Binago ko yan. May mga pagkakataon kasi na masasabihan ka na supervisor mo sa work ng mga instruction na medyo masakit sa pride mo. Dapat hindi mo damdamin yan. British people are different from us. They just do it because that's their job. Nothing personal. Hindi rin ako nangangansyaw sa mga Pilipino na manlibre ka naman. Kasi birthday mo. Hindi kasi ugali ng mga Briton yan. Nahawa na ako sa kanila. Ilan lang yan sa mga challenges na inaharap ko at nakapag-adjust na din ako. Hooray! Establishing a new life in UK. Finding your social circle. Nung nasa Northampton pa kami, we tried to mingle with the Filipino community. But it didn't work out. I miss all my friends in the Philippines. Na-turn off din ako kasi may mga Pilipino doon na medyo mahangin. Ew! Buggers! Hey! Ganyan ba talaga ang mga Pilipino pag nasa abroad? Nag-iiba ang ugali. Wala kasi akong idea kung ano ang dinudulot ng makakapunta ka sa ibang bansa sa pagbabago ng ugali ng isang tao. Bukang ang apekto ay yung mayabang ng isang Pinoy na nakakasetal sa ibang bansa. But not all. <coughs> Hindi din naman kami nagtagal sa Corby, Northampton. After 6 months, nakalipat na kami dito sa Nottingham. Nakahanap din ng mga friends but hindi din nagtagal, nagkahiwahiwalay din. Dami kasing problema ng mga Pilipino. Pag hindi ka nakabranded na damit, tingin sa'yo cheap. Hey! Bawal ang Primark sa Pinoy. Kala mo naman, nakabranded sa Pilipinas nung araw. Dami din mga sinungaling Pilipino dito. Kapag kunwari, kesyo big time daw sila sa Pilipinas. Dami siyang pera sa Pilipinas. Daming lupain. Meron din daw siyang bakahan at mga kabayo. Ikaw na ang asindero. Puro siya ang sikat. Oh no! Ni iba kasi, hindi nila tanggap na ganun lang sila sa bansa ng UK. Madaming Pilipino dito ang nasa low tier jobs. Maaring big time nga sila sa Pilipinas, pero kadalasan ng mga trabaho ang makukuha nila dito ay sa larangan ng caring at cleaning. Not unless, ikaw ay isang nurse. Sa totoo lang, napakahirap humanap ng totoong kaibigan dito sa UK. Ganun din kaya sa ibang bansa. So far, may mga kaibigan naman na ako dito. Okay naman sila. Hey, what's all the hubbub? Our problem with child care. One of our challenges here is child care. And it's not a joke. Hey! Especially when both of us are working at the same time. When we moved to Nottingham, that's when we felt the difficulty of child care. First of all, you cannot leave your child alone in the house. Especially if both of you are on duty. It's not possible for only one person to work here. You won't survive. That's when Twinkle started taking James to nursing home. Oh no! Even thought it's prohibited there. Pinatago niya kung saan saan. Pinakapal lang din namin ang aming mga muka na iiwan si James sa mga kaibigan namin. Kaso, nung tumagal na, nakaramdam ka na rin ng mga pagtanggi nila. Well, James is not their responsibility. As much as possible, iniiwasan din namin na magkaroon ng malaking utang na loob. Kaya inayos namin ang aming schedule at nagawa naman ang paraan na hindi na kailangan iwan si James sa ibang tao o sa nursing home. Nasolusyonan din namin ang aming child care. Yes! Ang una kong trabaho dito sa UK ay kargador sa isang bodega. For two weeks of my life, I was miserable. Ang hirap pala ng ganoong trabaho. Aha! Ibabato sa'yo yung mga produkto sa loob ng container at ito naman ay yung sasaluhin at iaayos sa palit. Nandyan na nagkaipit-ipit ang aking mga kamay. I'm not used to this kind of job. Pagkatapos nun, nasanay din ako. 
nakapasok din ako sa factory ng cereals. Doon ako nag-start maging cleaner. We were cleaning big ovens that cook cereals. I like that job, but we need to move here in Nottingham. When we arrive here in Nottingham, ang nakuha ko din trabaho ay cleaner. Oh man! Cleaning the bakery in Sainsbury. Okay naman ako doon. Yun niya lang, 3 hours only. I need 6 hours of job para mag-survive ka dito sa UK. I got a position in the city hospital of Nottingham. Cleaner na naman. Woohoo! And it's 4 hours a day, 5 days in a week, walang Sabado at Linggo. After 8 months, I was given an additional 3 hours, making it 35 hours in a week. Hooray! <coughs> However, I've now switched to the morning shift, working for 6 hours, at meron na ding enhancement for Saturdays, Sundays, and bank holidays. The only downside is, it's early in the morning at 7.30 a.m. Oh no! But it finished at 1.30 in the afternoon. Yes! It's good to be back home early. Madami pa akong magagawa sa bahay. Not like in the previous schedule, gabi na ako umuwi around 10 o'clock in the evening. Reflection on identity. 15 years living in the UK makes me wonder, am I becoming a British person? You don't look British. Wish mo. No! Kala ko lang siguro kasi nga, ang tagal ko na dito. Noong 2018, umuwi kami ng Pilipinas. And that was the first time. And it took us 10 years. Oh no! Wala kasi kaming pera. Hindi ipipilit kong wala. Hindi ba? Nung nakabahay na kami sa mga utang-utang, nakaipon din kami ng pang-uwi sa Pilipinas. When I returned home, I felt like a different person. It seems like I'm adjusting to the country where I was born and raised. Hey, what's all the hubbub? My feelings are quite different now. I'm somewhat disoriented, confused, and there are times when I want to go back to the UK. Living in another country for a long time really changes you. There have been a lot of changes in the Philippines over the past 10 years and my British side is starting to emerge. Hirap nang sumakay sa jeep, init na init sa panahon ng Pilipinas. Laging basa ng pawis ang likod ko. Hindi nangyayari sa akin dito sa UK yun. Pakiramdam ko, hihimatayan din ako sa init ng panahon. Nung nakakita ako ng dami ng tao sa pilahan ng sakaya ng FX sa Mega Mall, na dismaya ako, hindi ko alam kung paano na ako uuwi. Hindi ko yan na-experience dito sa UK. Naguguluhan ako Kasi pakiramdam ko, ang daming tao sa Pilipinas, overcrowded. <laughs> That's the price of relocating to another country. A lot will transform within you. However, it's crucial to ensure a balance. I consistently remind myself that I am not British and that identity will never change. I remain a Filipino even if I choose to spend the rest of my life here. Integration involves embracing the positive aspects of being Filipino while navigating life as a migrant in the UK. Yes! Is there something to be proud of in the United Kingdom? I have a job, though I'm just a cleaner here in the UK or sa Pilipinas, isang janitor. It's a decent job and I'm proud of it. Nice! I don't seek any benefits from the government and I earn almost £1,500 a month. Would you still complain about that? Besides, this job is less stressful with no major responsibilities involved. Sa 13 years ko sa ospital, kahit kailan hindi pa ako nareklamo na tamad ako o may nag-request sa ward or department na ilipat ako sa ibang lugar kasi hindi nila ako gusto dahil hindi maayos ang panglilinis ko sa kanilang departamento. At madalas ang mga staff sa ward, karamihan sa kanila ay kasundo ko din at hinahanap-hanap nila ako pang nawawala ako ng matagal, lalo na kung ako ay naka-annual leave. Minsan, may mga compliment pa ng, what happened? Happen to you. We miss you, Paul. It's not the same when you're not here. Yeehaw! In 2022, I received the Employee of the Month Award in my ward. This was the first time it happened to me in the 12 years I've been working in the hospital. Nagulat ako. I'm not entitled to such awards because I'm under the cleaning services, not directly from the ward. So if the ward gives you that kind of compliment, it means you're doing an excellent job. Nung nalaman ng supervisor na nakareceive ako ng employee of the month, tuwang-tuwa sila. They posted it in the office for one month. They also offered me supervisor job, but I declined. Ayoko ng supervisor kasi mas okay na akong gumalaw at maglinis. Pag supervisor ka na, most likely, office works at inspection. I don't like that. Okay na ako sa pagiging cleaner. Who? Me? Kamusta naman ang kalusugan mo? 
Isa sa pinakamagandang benepisyo ng nakatira dito sa UK ay ang healthcare system nila. Ako po ay may diabetes. At dito ko na lang nalaman, syempre, hindi lang diabetes ang meron ako. Meron din akong hypertension, high cholesterol, at high blood pressure. The good thing is that all of my medical needs are free. Like check-up, medication, and laboratory tests are sponsored by the NHS. Pag na-hospital naman ako, wala din akong babayaran kahit nga ambulansya. Libre din. What? Hindi ba ang gandang benefits niyan? Viagra, libre ba? Oo naman, para sa may mga diabetes, libre din siya. May regrets ka ba sa UK? The only regrets that I can say is that we didn't buy a house here in the UK. Wala naman ang way makabili ng bahay. Una, may edad na ako. Pangalawa, napakamahala ng bahay dito. Down payment pa lang is 20 to 40% ang hinihini. Depende pa yan kung anong klaseng bahay ang bibilin mo. Kung bagong bahay, mas mataas pa. Isipin mo na lang kung ang bahay na binibili mo ay 180,000 pounds. Magkano na ang 20% nun? Oh man! What? At hindi lang yan ang mga babayaran mo. May mga anik-anik pa. Yung mga oras na mura pa ang bahay, baw naman kami sa utang loan. Kasi yung pagpunta ni Twinkle dito, niloan namin yun. Tapos, nung kami naman ang susunod papunta rito, nag din kami. <laughs> Meron din mga credit cards payment. Kaya nung makabayad na kami sa lahat ng aming mga loan, doon na tumaas ang presyo ng mga bahay. Lalo na nung nag-loan Kaya wala na talagang way to buy a house here. <laughs> Si James na lang ang bibili ng bahay kasi siya naman na magsaseta permanently dito sa UK. Magbibigay na lang siguro kami ni Twinkle ng pangdagdag sa down payment ng bahay na bibili niya. Hey, what's all the hubbub? Lesson learned in 15 years as a migrant in the UK. Living in another country is really challenging. The country where you were born and raised is still different. Of course, you can say that's your comfort zone, right? Here in the UK, you have no one else to rely on but yourself. In terms of household chores, Shopping, even when you get sick, you realize that you are on your own in the UK. Especially if your loved ones are not here. It's really sad to be in a foreign land. If it were just me, I would go back to the past and I would even choose to stay in the Philippines. We often think that being in another country, especially in the UK, is a happy situation. But the reality is, it's filled with loneliness. You only feel happy when you receive your salary because it's a substantial amount. But deep inside, you really miss your home country, the Philippines. Oh no! My advice to the Filipino migrants in the UK. Bear in mind that you have no one else to rely on here but yourself. Who, me? And your family is also one of the sources of help in your life. Matutong tumayo sa sarili mong paa. Huwag kang magpasambot sa mga kapwa Pilipina mo. Mahirap masumbatan at madaming mga Pilipino dito ang mapagbilang. Iwasang magkaroon ng utang na loob. May mga Pilipino dito na naniningil ng tulong na binigay nila sa iyo. Oh no! Ew! Buggers! Choose your friends wisely because not all Pilipinos here in the UK are genuine. Maraming fake dito. Hey! What's all the hubbub? Kayong mga baguhang migrant, matupo kayong mag-budget ng pera ninyo. In the near future, if you decide to settle here in the UK, your settlement fees and visas are quite expensive. Huwag ding ipamper ang mga pamilya sa Pilipinas. Matutong magtipid. At isalang-alang na makapag-retire ng maaga dahil nakaipon ka na. Hindi ba? Yeehaw! Future Plans Mga 10 to 12 years from now, I will be 64 then. I will retire that time. At ang una kong gagawin ay uuwi ako ng Pilipinas. Doon na ako maninirahan. Babalik na ako sa comfort zone ko. Sana comfort zone pa rin. Nice! Babalik pa din ako dito sa UK bago mag 2 years para pumasyal at silipin ang anak ko. Baka that time, meron na rin akong apo. Ayaw na rin bumalik ng anak ko sa Pilipinas. Hindi mo naman siya pwedeng pilitin, di ba? No! Enjoy ko na lang yung retirement ko at meron na rin kaming bahay na nakuha sa SMDC. May isa siyang condominium. I'm excited to live in it. <coughs> Pala ko din mag-farming kung kakayanin pa. Lalo na sa pag-aalaga ng mga kambing, tupa, manok, pugo at iba pa. Hindi naman pang commercial reason. Para lang may libangan. Lahat ng yan ay nakabase kung magkano ang makukuha ko sa retirement. Holy moly! Regardless of what others may say, the United Kingdom is a country that I truly admire. I have deep love for the United Kingdom of Great Britain. This country has provided me with the opportunity to improve my life and enhance my personality and molding me into a better person. Ooh. 
I am grateful to the UK even if I return to my home country, the Philippines. I will never forget the UK. It's the weather, the courteous British people, the engaging small talks, the banter, the fantastic British ladies, the vibrant London city, my beloved Nottingham, the majestic country of Derbyshire, biking along the canals, the delectable sausage roll, English breakfast, Sunday roast, the iconic tube, the efficiency of and many more will always hold a special place in my heart. Hooray! I'm indebted to you, UK. I will always cherish the memories. Thank you so much for welcoming me here in the United Kingdom. Gaya nga po ng sabi ni Tom Preston Burner, na isa pong American media profiteer, businessman at financier, he is also an American entertainment industry executive. He co-founded MTV and served as its CEO from 1987 to 1995. Preston is known for his contribution to a success of MTV which played a significant role in shaping popular culture during the late 20th century. Live abroad if you can. Understand cultures other than your own. As your understanding of the other culture increases, your understanding of yourself and your own culture will increase exponentially. For the way it goes. Maraming salamat po. But before we go, please kindly like, subscribe, and click that notification for you to be updated for my future posts. See you next time. Be proud, Filipinos.